This morning there are two stories in the news about large space rocks that have been flying close to Earth. Um, one of them was about a meteor which exploded in the skies over Russia uh, this morning. The, um, the other one was about an asteroid called 2012 DA14 which is passing very close to Earth today. People seem to be getting confused about the two, so let's just say they are not the same thing. Using our high-tech props, um, if this were the Earth, the Moon would be about about 25 feet uh, away, and uh, on that scale, the asteroid that's passing by tomorrow would be about this far away uh, from the Earth. It would be far smaller than that, it would be about the size of a grain of sand or considerably even smaller than that. It's not going to hit the Earth, but it is the largest object that's passed near Earth, and it's the closest an asteroid has passed near Earth since we've been watching the skies. In 1908, uh, a rock of about the same size as this is believed to have crashed into a place called Tunguska in Siberia. The resulting explosion was had the force of a thousand Hiroshima bombs, so it's probably for the best that this rock today missed us. The meteor which exploded in the sky over Russia this morning was about 10 tonnes according to the Russian Academy of Sciences, so far smaller than the asteroid which is missing us today, and is believed to have exploded in the atmosphere without hitting the ground. What you first see is the light of the meteor burning as it enters the atmosphere. Um, at this stage it's obviously travelling at tens of thousands of miles an hour, and what's causing it to burn is not friction with the air, but is instead that the, uh, the it's hitting the air so fast that the air can't get out of the way. The air is in front of it is being compressed incredibly and superheating. So the rock is then glowing red hot and burning, and that is what causes the light, the, um, the glowing red light as it comes through the sky. Um, eventually, enough of it burns away that it just loses all integrity and, it, and shatters and breaks apart. And that's what you see when the, uh, and with the, the bright light, the sudden sort of looks like an explosion. While everyone's looking at the vapor trail um, left by the passing meteor in the air, there's an enormous boom which shakes the windows and breaks some windows. That's not the sound of the meteor exploding in the air. It's the um, sound of the sonic boom caused by a large object traveling incredibly fast through the atmosphere, sort of like the, the um, sonic boom made by Concorde. The reason the sonic boom hits you so much later is simply because the meteor broke, uh, entered the atmosphere so far away. Um, even when it breaks up, it's probably still 30 miles in the air or thereabouts. And like thunder and lightning, um, because light travels so much faster, the image re reaches you a long time before the sound does. So uh, there's been an asteroid um, and there's been a meteor, but the two are completely unconnected. Um, the meteor, it seems, didn't even hit the ground, whatever the YouTube videos of smoking craters might say. So don't worry, it's not the apocalypse and uh, it looks like we're all going to live.